I'm Tom Wilson. I'm a C-130 pilot from Eldridge Island, the airplane, and our guard units from Peoria, Illinois. Uh, C-130's primary role is to transport cargo and personnel across the theater. We can airdrop or just load the cargo in the back of the cargo compartment here, or uh, airdrop from there as well. Uh, we specialize in short field operations, so short runways, dirt runways, and uh, things of that nature. Yes, we fly the H model. Um, our airplane's a little bit older, it's shorter, the J model's longer, has newer engines and newer propellers on it, so it's a more efficient, more powerful. It can fly faster, uh, take off in shorter distances, carry more cargo. Uh, we are actually, the H models are getting retrofitted with new engines and new propellers that will be the same ones that are on the J model. So we'll keep the airplane, it'll still have the same power capacity as what we have now, but the new engines and new propellers will be a better build. Good morning, my name is uh, Darren Fuller. I'm with T-45s out of Pensacola, Florida. Uh, right behind me, of course, is T-45. It is a training jet that we use to train the backseaters in uh, communications, uh, weaponry, uh, navigation. Um, we do a little bit of air-to-air -air combat with these jets. Um, we train Navy, Marine Corps, um, single, single engine, uh, Rolls Royce engine. Um, very effective in what we do. My name is J.P. Meller. I'm with the Missouri Wing of the Commemorative Air Force, and the airplane behind me is a Grumman TBM Avenger. It's a World War II torpedo bomber. Um, was the largest single-engine combat aircraft in World War II, designed to carry a 2,000-pound torpedo, and or it could carry four 2,000-pound bombs. Um, and the uh, Avenger saw his first combat in the Battle of Midway. The uh, Torpedo Squadron 8 had uh, several newly assigned uh, Avengers, and they launched for Midway Island, and, uh, and that was the start of the Avenger in World War II. They had a pretty storied history. Um, Bush Sr. flew Avengers in war and uh, was shot down flying an Avenger.
200 feet now, descending down up here. It's about 100 feet off the pavement, about 250, 260 feet. P-51D Mustang. P-51D Mustang, Quicksilver. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left, Sky Yoke. Isn't that beautiful? steady at that low speed, holding altitude perfectly, the aircraft configured for the landing. Again, you can see that low altitude, high bank angle there. It's showing an incredible maneuverability of an airplane that weighs in at that kind of weight. The big C-17 swinging around out here off of Air Show Center. Empty this aircraft weighs in at 280,000 pounds. Watch them swing back around out here off of Air Show Center. Keep that bank going. In case you're wondering how big this aircraft is, the wingspan tip to tip is about half the length of a football field. All right, as we watch coming in right now. By the way, a beautiful job of backing up right down our center line there. Beautiful display, smooth flying. That is Jeff Shetterly's trademark. As we watch him extend out there. That at the inverted cruising down the show line you can see he's at treetop level brings the nose up 
goes right on over into the four point hesitation roll, carving that sky into four 90 degree slices. Exit, stage left. Jeff Shetterly, folks, let's give a great big hand to Jeff. Flying the airplane right on through. Beautiful display of this big 5,000 plus pound aircraft. Powered by a single 1,340 cubic inch, nine cylinder supercharged Pratt Whitney radial. Producing 600 horsepower, it spins a big. and the fastest one or maybe the third fastest fire truck in the world. But right now, folks, out here at Show Center, we have got undeniably the fastest fire truck. So now, from your right, ladies and gentlemen, Aftershock and Jeff Shetterly as they come by. Jeff has come by. This is known as a hole shot as he gets way past him out here. Here comes Aftershock. He's accelerating fast. Jeff's hanging out out there at 140 miles an hour, 150. And here comes Aftershock. Oh, ho, ho, ho.
Hello, I'm Technical Sergeant Hale Bradley from Tucson, Arizona at Davis Mothman Air Force Base. Today we brought out two of our A-10s from the A-10 demonstration team. We'll be flying today. Uh, having a practice, we well, had a practice yesterday. Everything looks great. The aircraft are ready. Uh, we'll be flying the full profile today of what our demonstration is capable of. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the aircraft. So the A-10 is primarily big bread and butter. Is the 30 millimeter Gatling gun, the Gow 8 Avenger. Fires 70 rounds a second. Carries 1,174 uh, rounds on board the aircraft. We can also carry up to 16,000 pounds of external ordnance on 11 pylon stations across the wings and the belly of the aircraft. These aircraft have been around on our that are on our team. They are 1981 models, and we also have a 1980 model. Uh, the last year the A-10 was built, about 1983. So we have a little bit of the older ones, but they're still flying, still kicking around. I uh, hope you guys enjoy what you see today.
goes forward on the stick as they perform the opposing knife edge pass. Thank you for watching. If you are looking for something to do, or you are traveling through Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport, stop by the Mitchell Gallery of Flight for some aviation history. It's free. Donations are accepted. Right between Concourse C and D. Outside of security, no body scans required. Conveniently located near parking.